BTN is the world's best show. I like to watch it. With a big hippo? Uh, excuse me, Kale. Quiet, Robo. I'm creating. Well, perhaps I could help you. <laughs> a robot writing music? <laughs> Feast your puny human ears on this. Yep, believe it or not, this song was written by a robot. With the help of these guys. Oh, hi, my name is Charlton Hill and I'm the head of music and innovation at Uncanny Valley. And this is my partner, who isn't a robot, it's Justin Shave. Hi. They were behind Australia's winning entry into the AI Song Contest. You see, Eurovision was cancelled this year because of COVID-19. So a Dutch TV station decided to challenge teams to come up with a brand new Eurovision-y sounding song using artificial intelligence, or AI. Look at me, we're coming with the look at me. And Australia won. Thank you so much. We are honoured uh, to win this AI <laughs> song content. So how did they do it? imagine the way the computer goes about creating a song the same way a human would go about creating a song. Um, if you wanted to write a song, you might perhaps listen to other songs and uh, learn about how those songs are, are written. See, computers find mathematical patterns within the music to create original but specific sounding songs. Just like we can hear the difference between heavy metal and classical, computers see the difference through math. So by using some AI software and feeding the computer a bunch of Eurovision songs, the Uncanny Valley team managed to create a brand new Eurovision-y sounding tune. In fact, computers and music go back a long, long time. Alan Turing, one of the fathers of computing, used them to make music way back in 1961. Fast forward to 2016 and programmers used 13,000 pop songs to teach AI to write a song in the style of the Beatles. These days there's stacks of software online that pump out randomly generated music. And some artists are even creating entire albums purely with AI. In fact, some people worry that eventually we human musicians might be replaced by robots. But that's not quite on the cards yet. AI still needs help from humans. And even then, some of the lyrics are pretty weird. Some, like Charlton, see a more collaborative future very much a co-creation in terms of sort of collaborating with the computers. More of a, an extra member of the band or, or something yeah. to turn to AI for some ideas. But who knows, maybe one day we'll have robots topping the charts. What would you do if you won a Grammy Roblox? I don't know, Kale. I think I would just dance, dance, dance. You can dance as well. Yes, but only the robot. 